Before we begin the review proper, there's something that needs to be brought up in regards to Ms. Pac-Man's status on the Nintendo Entertainment System, and some backtracking is in order in this regard. As some of you might be aware, the original Pac-Man on the NES came in multiple flavors, starting with a licensed release from Tengen in the traditional grey cartridge, followed by an unlicensed black cartridge release by Tengen, and finally a licensed release by Namco. Despite all the differing publishers and copyright status changes, these are all different published versions of the same game with no notable differences between the various versions. This is similar to the NES version of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, as it comes in both unlicensed Tengen and licensed Mindscape flavors, both contain the same crappy game. In the case of Ms. Pac-Man, there were also separate releases, an unlicensed Tengen conversion that came out in 1990, and a licensed Namco port which came out in 1993. Unlike the original Pac-Man, the two games are entirely different beasts, with the Namco release being more of a straight-up conversion of the arcade original, and the Tengen release being more of an enhanced package with additional options and mazes. In other words, an 8-bit NES conversion of Ms. Pac-Man as it appeared on the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. In a way, it's sort of the same thing that happened with Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, with a pair of entirely different NES games by separate companies sharing the same name. The difference between Last Crusade and Ms. Pac-Man is that the two versions of Ms. Pac-Man are much better games, but let's not go there. For the purposes of this video, we'll be focusing entirely on the Tangent version of Ms. Pac-Man's and not even bring up the other versions because I don't have the other Namco version, so yeah, let's get on with it. The best way I could describe Tangent's NES version of Ms. Pac-Man is that it's basically an 8-bit version of the same game as it appeared on the Sega Genesis, which was also developed by Tangent, so it makes sense. In essence, you're given a solid playing conversion of the original Ms. Pac-Man arcade game, along with a bevy of options that greatly expands upon the original gameplay, whether it be an optional speed boost, additional mazes, or even additional two-player options that has Player 2 taking control of Pac-Man, without the weird dot .i thing from the Genesis version. By now you should know how Ms. Pac-Man works, and if you don't know how Ms. Pac-Man works, you're most likely burning in hell right about now. Clear the maze, avoid the ghosts, catch some fruit, that sort of thing. The gameplay still applies here, and it still holds up extremely well after all these decades. Controls work well enough. I mean, you're moving a yellow thing around with a D-pad, and it responds fine. Not much to complain about there. There's multiple difficulty settings that adjust the speed of the ghost, multiple two-player options to make things interesting, and of course, the additional mazes of small, big, or strange varieties. The mazes featured here are the same mazes that you'll find on the 16-bit versions, so there's no surprises to be found if you've already played those versions. It's pretty much the same thing, except it looks a little 8-bit-ish. Speaking of 8-bit graphics... Graphically speaking, well, there's still that scrolling evident from the Genesis version and the later Super Nintendo version of Ms. Pac-Man. I've mentioned before in those reviews that the scrolling was a bit of a negative at first, but in the long run, it doesn't totally destroy the game and you'll eventually get used to it. It's sort of like the unofficial sequel, Junior Pac-Man, except you're scrolling up and down instead of left or right. Which is sort of how it worked in the 2600 version of Junior Pac-Man, but I digress. Aside from that, this is a lesser looking version of the game. The title screen, quite honestly, looks like crap. I, I miss the Genesis title screen, and I could understand not recreating that for the NES, but they could have done a much better job with this title screen. Also, the menu is kind of simple looking. It's not nothing to say about this really. It, it, when it comes to the main game though, Miss Pac-Man has it where it counts, and the in-game graphics look about as well as they did in the arcade original. There's no 16-bit enhancements or glossy finish to be found here, it's the classic look for the classic mazes with the classic colors and it looks good. And the additional mazes are nice to look at too. And bless Tension Soul, they even managed to sneak in some advertising for another NES game called Clax. Those wacky Tension folks, they are geniuses. Too bad that genius couldn't be applied to producing quality sound on this NES conversion of Ms. Pac-Man. Honestly, folks, the sound in this game isn't terrible per se, but it can get grating at times. Every time I navigate a maze devoid of dots, it sounds like there's an UFO flying around, and I keep waiting for space aliens to show up and tractor me away onto their spaceship. And whenever you eat up a ghost, you're greeted with this lovely sound. Sad. All the things this version gets right, but the sound is the one area where they bungled it. A bit of a shame, really. 
But aside from that little tidbit, Ms. Pac-Man has done some justice on the NES. The classic gameplay has been retained, the additional options and game modes boost the replay value of this one considerably, and above all else, the game is just damn fun to play and holds up extremely well after all these years. It is an overall superior conversion of the game compared to what Namco would later release a couple years later. And I can say that despite not having played that version, because Namco did release a straight up port and nothing more, whereas this version offers more Ms. Pac-Man for your buck. If you already own the Genesis or Super Nintendo versions of Ms. Pac-Man, then this NES conversion probably wouldn't be worth the pickup since it's pretty much the same game minus the gloss varnish. But still, I find that you can't have enough Ms. Pac-Man, and even if you're a fan of the game and you want an NES port, the Tension version is the one to go to. It's really well done.